Hey guys, it's Gina and remember I told you I was going to come back and show you how I do my stuffed shells. So here we go. These are, um, this is a container that I already did. I actually have already done three like this. So I'm just going to show you the last one. Remember I did the um, meat mixture um, from my other video. And I added to this some ricotta, which is what I did not have when I did the other video. So um, I added probably mm, three fourths cups of ricotta to the entire mixture of ground beef. And it doesn't, it just makes it a little cheesy. And in the bottom of this pan is just some tomato sauce. So all I'm gonna do is take a shell and take some of my meat mixture and put it in the shell and that's done and then I'll just do all of them the same way put some meat mixture uh -oh, and just drop it into the pan until it is all they are all stuffed each pan held about seven shells for me so I'll probably cook two of them when I make a meal. So um, 14 shells for a family of four and we will more than likely have leftovers. Um, so yeah, that's what we're doing here. And then when I bake them, the day I serve them for dinner, I will add a little bit of sauce to the top, just a little and a lot of cheese not a whole whole lot but i will cover my shells in cheese so that is all i will do for um this recipe and all this was was my meat mixture um some meat that i mix with uh, spaghetti sauce some um um onion powder garlic powder and um, this shell is kind of broken up, but that's who cares. We're still going to just stuff it with some meat, um, salt and pepper, and I don't remember. Oh, some Italian seasoning. So if you watched the other video, you know what all is in there. And all I added to it was some um, ricotta cheese. And like I said, when I bake it, I'm going to add just a little bit of sauce to the top of it and some mozzarella and some cheddar cheese over top of it and then i'll bake it so um hope you like this recipe guys this is just an easy simple freezer meal that i make put it in the freezer take it out put it in the fridge the night before i'm going to cook it put it in the oven for about 35 45 minutes and we got dinner add some salad or some garlic bread and you got a meal so i will be talking to you guys again soon I plan on doing some prep for some chicken meals and I will video those. So I'll be looking for some more videos to come. Bye guys.